Welcome to another edition of Bumps and Thumps, the talk of wrestling. I'm Brian Ferguson. My guest today has been, is a rising star on the independent wrestling circuit. He is currently one half of the WFC Tag Team Champions with Johnny Lightning with the team known as Toxic Masculinity. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the Lit Fuse, Johnny Dynamite. Johnny, thanks for coming on the show today. I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for having me, man. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, we. I've, I've tell you a uh, quick, quick story here. I saw one of your first. Well, first match I saw of you guys was back in November, at the uh, the Bobby Eaton uh, Memorial uh, event, and. Uh, you and, and, and Johnny Lightning were in a tag team match, and I just thought you guys were phenomenal. Uh, you have uh, such chemistry together. Uh, it's like you guys know what you does, which each other is going to do before you do it. And that's the key to a tag team to me. And uh, I just want to tell you that uh, before we got started, that I think you guys are – are definitely on the rise. So congrats for that, by the way. Oh, thank you. That means a lot to us. You know, it's, we just try to do what we can and hopefully, you know, we can bring some respect to tag team wrestling. Yeah. Oh yeah, you do. Um, like I said, I saw you at the Bobby and then I came a month later when Jimmy Hart was there. Uh, you had another match again. Uh, you got a third guy now. Is that right? The, the I don't remember the mask guy's name. What's his name? We had one. His name was Wani. Okay. And uh, Wani's been lost for a little bit. We don't. Okay. I, I think we might have lost him at like an airport or something. He doesn't speak English, so we're a little worried at the moment. Okay. I like it though. It's it's good. Um, okay, so let's talk a little bit about you as a person. Let's talk. Uh, tell us a little bit about where you grew up at, uh, kind of your childhood and, and some of your schooling, things like that, if you would, please. Okay, yeah. I grew up in a small town of Omaha, Arkansas. And I, when I say small town, it's 160 people. Oh, wow. Yeah, everyone knows everyone. Okay. But uh, growing up, I went to a small little private Christian school and wrestling was kind of a no-no. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, you're you're in these small towns and you look up to people bigger than life. And to me, that's what wrestling was as a kid. It's bigger than life. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely growing up, I would try to like tune in the Friday night Smackdown. Mm -hmm. Wow. OK, so after school, did you go to college or? I did not go to college. OK, uh, actually, right out, out of school, I started training. Okay. And who trained you? That would be Jason Jones, the hardest the working man in professional wrestling. The Space Cowboy. Yes, himself. sir. Folks, for you that uh, aren't familiar with Space Cowboy Jason Jones, he is the promoter of Mid States Wrestling. And he's also, a, I believe, a commentator for world class wrestling out of um, Oklahoma, Texas area, I believe. And uh, I know he does a lot of work and he takes care of his guys. Um, so how long was your training and, and what was that like for you? I have been training. Let's see here. I've been training four years wrestling for three of them. I still go to training every, every Tuesday night. Okay. And wow. it's definitely... It was tough at first, you know, Yeah. getting your body used to taking that physical damage yeah. night in, night out. Yeah. But, but yeah, getting used to it was definitely hard, but yeah, Jason made it. He teaches you your fundamentals and yeah. I, worth I, it. I, I've noticed that it was your partner, Johnny Lightning, trained by Jason Jones as well. Yes, sir. He was. Okay. So that's kind of your key then is that your your wrestling academy or camp you guys yeah. did you guys go through at the same time or i was going there a year before lightning showed up okay 
Lightning had done it before in the past. Okay. And he had to go away for a little bit. Okay. Okay. So you're not that old. If you just started training a few years ago and you didn't go to school, I'm figuring you're in your early 20s. Yeah, early 20s. Very early 20s. Okay. But uh, I know they can't, nobody can see you, but if you go to a match, this this young man has very, very nice hair. I'll say that. And, <laughs> and, and a big beard. And so you look... A little bit older. I would I would have thought you were in your late twenties, you and uh, and uh, lightning there. But I mean that's good. I mean for your age, I will say this: you have developed uh, really fast and 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 really well for for how long you've been doing this. So thank you, sir. Kudos to you, and, and uh, so and kudos to Jason Jones. Uh, obviously, he knows how to train and prepare wrestlers uh for those kind of events so yes they're one of the best there is yeah so getting into the business what, where was your first match my first match was in marshall texas okay a promotion called league of lions okay it was me and a gentleman by the name of chase thompson or alan jefferson okay versus jason jones and a man named joey corman okay and how did that experience, what was that like for you? Getting there? I'm sure you're a little nervous. It. Oh, I was terrified. I was, <laughs> I was terrified. Yeah. And then the funny thing of the whole match was, is like me and Jefferson were wearing masks uh -huh. for luchadors. And like halfway into the match, I took an elbow to the nose and Ooh. I was freaking out. So I thought my nose was bleeding. Yeah. And I was more worried about getting blood on the mask <laughs> than about my own nose. <laughs> so definitely a terrifying but amazing experience. Yeah. And you've been doing this for a few years. So how did you and Johnny Lightning come together as a tag team? So the funny thing with that is after my year, of training lightning shows up right mm -hmm. when he comes in he doesn't introduce himself as hi i'm johnny lightning he goes hi i'm john norriston yeah i'm like okay flash forward about six seven months at the springfield show jason had a rising star battle royal mm -hmm. i had been wrestling under the name johnny dynamite and i come out as johnny dynamite and coming up behind me is lightning he didn't tell anyone his name was johnny lightning <laughs> so here comes johnny dynamite here comes johnny lightning so the whole thing of both of us being johnny's was a complete accident yeah but somehow we just meshed really yeah. well together at training yeah and it was kind of a hey this works well let's try this with a tag team yeah that's that's pretty cool i mean I'll tell you what, you guys also have some, uh, you know, you're known as toxic masculinity. Uh, and you have these shirts that say Johnny across the front of them. Uh, whose idea was that? That's a good marketing strategy. I mean, I'll tell you, I'm, next show I'm buying a shirt. But uh, who came up with all that? Who came up with the, the name toxic masculinity? Who came up with the... Uh, you know, the idea to market yourselves and, and uh, with shirts and other products, How, who came up with all that? So for the name Toxic Masculinity was kind of a combination of me and Lightning. Mm -hmm. I kind of had the idea of, you know, well, I'm the masculine one of the group. <laughs> and I was like, you're the toxic one. You, I was like, Lightning, you're the toxic boyfriend. <laughs> like toxic masculinity. There you go. It writes itself. There you go. But the uh, the name Johnny on the shirt kind of came from a few different sources. It came from uh, Gary Graham. Okay. He had the idea of just like, why don't you just put Johnny across the shirt? Simple. People like it. Yeah. But when it comes to merch, that's all Jason Jones. Yeah. That man is the hardest working man I've ever seen when it comes to merchandise. Yeah. 
and he's taught us a lot of stuff. Yeah. He is a good person. Uh, when I met him, I bought actually, I don't know if you can see it behind me a little bit. Uh, the space cowboy, I bought the little, oh, I see it. the little figure. I know it's hard to see, but I bought the little figure. I had him sign it. Uh, that was, you know, one of the first matches I went to you and, and I was so impressed honestly with, with how you guys, uh, uh, how the how the matches went, how the the pre show went, how the the post show, and, you know, in between when you have the uh, twenty minute intermission. I mean, it's all it's all family friendly. You know, you do your job in the ring, you say what you need to say in the ring, and uh, that's what's great about it. Is you guys, I, I I don't know how to say it really, but you're very professional, especially for how old you are. You are very, uh, you talk very professional, and, and that's that shows to me that Jason Jones is is doing the right stuff for you guys. Thank you, Thank you sir. Yes, sir. That's all, Jason. He has caught us from day one that you know you can be the best wrestler in the world, but without fans, without mm-hmm. those people, you're nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he he always wants to put on the best show he can for yeah. them. You guys do it. And I got to tell you, uh, when, when you guys get in the ring and you, you do your little bit and then uh, uh, Johnny Lightning, he, you know, he does his little, I don't know, he says some stuff and he sticks out his tongue and all that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. I mean, it's cool. Um, and you're just kind of the guy that's, you're like the muscle, the, the guy that's in the back kind of. The brawler, sure. yeah. You're, you're the guy that makes sure that's there's. If there's any problems, you're going to take care of it. So I also noticed that uh, uh, when you guys first started, uh, he didn't have facial hair and he looked pretty young. So after yeah. the facial hair, I, was that on purpose? Hey, I got to look older. So I, you know, was that done purposely or for him? I think it was more of him just trying to change up his look a little bit. Okay. And just be like, let me see what it looks like with facial hair. Yeah. I, I prefer him with facial hair. He, yeah. The man has a baby face. He, he, yeah, he was probably, if he still had no facial hair, I would say he was the 21, 22 year old versus you. And I don't know what you look like with fa- without facial hair. I haven't seen any pictures of you without it, but I'm sure I you look them re- from the internet. <laughs> I'm sure you look pretty young too. So, but, uh, and you've been wrestling for three years. Now, what other promotions have you worked for outside of uh, of uh, Mid-States? So we have, of course, Mid-States, like you said. Yeah. We are the WFC, that's Wrestling for a Cause champion, tag team champions out mm-hmm. in Oklahoma. We wrestle okay. for them up to twice a month. Okay. Uh, we've wrestled for League of Lions. Let's see here. I've been everywhere from wrestling in Alabama at New Level Pro, uh, mm-hmm. Pro South. Just kind of all over the place, really. It's hard yeah. to remember all of them. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Let me ask you this. How is it on the family life? I, you mentioned your daughter here a little bit ago. Uh, how is that lifestyle? I mean, I'm sure it's challenging, but how is that for you personally? It can definitely be hard yeah. because, you know, it's I work throughout the week mm-hmm. and then the first day I have off will be a Saturday and I'll be gone. Yeah. And so there are definitely times where, I, you know, you, you miss your family after a while. And, yeah. But I'm lucky to have a really good support system at home with my yeah. wife and my kids. They all understand. Yeah. But That's it great. can definitely be hard. Yeah, I'm sure it can be. I mean, uh Life on the road isn't uh, easy, even if it is just, you know, a few times a month. Um, I know it can be quite a quite a challenge at times. So, how about your tag team partner there? Does he have a any a family, a, you know, kids, children, or wife? Or I know he's, he's the, I know he's the every woman's dream and every man's nightmare. But I didn't know if he had a wife and kids at home. He, he does not have a wife and kids. Now, he might have kids out there he doesn't know about. <laughs> but at home, he does not. 
but this is the man who he's a very fam- he's a family man too yeah like he will he calls his sister every time we're on the road at night to tell her good night like oh that's nice yeah he's a very he's a very sweet man yeah outside the ring outside the ring in the <laughs> ring he's gonna flick you in the nose yeah yeah wow that's 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 great that's good so how long have you been uh tag team champions for wfc now let's see let me think here i'm pretty sure that coming up in october will be a year oh well, good for you that's great now does mid states have wrestling tag team champions or is it just wrapped up with the wrestling for a cause promotion uh mid state does not have tag okay. team titles okay uh, but as i said yeah we will defend the WFC ones on mid states. We yeah. will defend them wherever. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So you got a card coming up actually on uh, this weekend, I believe. Yes, sir. June 11th. And, and then also you have another one uh, in June 25th in Springfield. Are you guys going to be at that one? Please tell me yes. Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I am taking my grandson to the one in Springfield uh, on the 25th. He's uh, 11 years old, and he's very excited. Uh, he's my, well, he's one of the older ones, and uh, he's been looking forward to it. I've been talking about you and Lightning, about toxic masculinity, uh, meet and greet and all that. So he is very excited about seeing it. So we're looking forward to it. Is it going to be a, uh, do you know who's all on the card besides yourselves? I know Jason Jones, but I mean, is there any other names that we should have out there? Roscoe Monroe or anybody like that? I know Luke Langley will be there. Okay. Uh, Must See TV, Colton Vaught. Yeah. So there's definitely be a few names on there. It's it's going to be a good show. Yeah. And especially this show coming up this Saturday, June 11th, it's actually the 20th anniversary Yes. Of mid states. Yes. I wish I could go, but unfortunately, we have other things going on, so I won't be able to attend that one. But I will be at the one in Springfield for sure. Well, the Springfield one's going to be real good. Yeah. So let's talk about who thus far in your early career, who has been the person as far as an opponent in your in your mind that you've worked so well with? You just gelled, you had that chemistry. Uh, just felt like it's, it was flowing like wine. Let me see here. There, there is one person I've only got to wrestle him once, mm-hmm. but when I did wrestle him, it was amazing to me. And that was funny enough was Niles Plonk. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. But uh, honestly, everyone from Niles Plonk to Gary Graham, uh, Jason Jones, Tim Rockwell, Thrash. Those guys, me and Johnny Lightning really mesh well with. Yeah. Tim Rockwell, he I like him. He's he's the villain, isn't he? Yes, sir. The natural born villain. Yes. I I he has that it factor as well, I think. Uh in my mind, he he comes out all cocky and arrogant, and yet he puts on such a good you know, wrestling that as well, you know, when he's in there, along with, uh, what's his manager's name? I forget. I'm sorry. Uh, Stevie Cabarello. Yes, Stevie. Yes. He's probably my age, or it looks like it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how old he is, but. Uh, anyways, another great talent in there, along with Niles. Everybody in there, you know, I think, who who's one of your favorites there right now that you think is, just kind of like on the rise in your mind besides you and your partner there. Honestly. Yeah. It would be Colton Vaught. Colton Vaught. Okay. Colton Vaught, Luke Langley. Okay. Those are, those are two guys who are like, I will be surprised if they don't make it to AEW or WWE in the future. Yeah. Well, I'm going to bet you two will too. I just, I mean, I mean that sincerely. I'm not just saying that because you're on my show. I really mean that because I've watched you guys. Um, 
I don't know if you remember uh, the guy uh, on WWE for a while when he was with the, uh, the VOD villains, uh, Simon Gotch. I remember Gotch, yes. Okay, I knew him when he was starting out. He was Ryan Drago, okay? And I had a gut feeling then that he was going to make it, and he did. He was there for a while, but, I mean, he made it. And I have the same feeling with you guys, you and in, in Lightning. I just think you got that factor. You know, maybe in a few more years, you get some more experience. I think you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna be surprised when you get a offer for a tryout at one of those the big ones there, WWE, AEW, Impact, somebody. They're gonna, they're gonna call you. I, I just got a feeling. Well, thank you, sir. And if they do, you got to call me and say we want you to be our manager, uh, and I, and I'll just ride around with you. <laughs> Deal. <Yeah. laughs> so no. Um, you talked about your other promotions already and stuff. So what's, what do you do outside of the ring? I know you said you had a job. Uh, I mean, people probably don't realize that wrestlers that are up and coming on the, on the Indies, uh, you know, their wrestling is, is not all they have to do. They can't afford not to. So what, what's kind of your occupation? What do you do outside of the ring there? I've done everything from vlogging with my family. <laughs> My okay. brother, my dad had a business to uh, managing a lumber yard. Okay. Wow. Interesting. So you like lumber? Yes, sir. It's <laughs> kind of a family business at that point. <laughs> okay. Interesting. And you are, are you still in Arkansas now? Yes, sir. Still That's in home. the same hometown. Oh, good. That's great. And how far are you from, let's say like Harrison? Is it very far for you? About a 20 minute drive. Oh, that ain't too bad. I've driven to Harrison from where I live and it's it's a couple hours. So Woo. yeah, it's about uh I live in outside of Bolivar, Missouri, uh north. So it's about a two hour drive, but I've done it twice. I've enjoyed it. So but I won't be able to come this weekend. But uh all right, so let's talk a few more questions here for you. Um Ahead for you guys, is there any other – I've heard of this new breed wrestling. Have you been a part of that at all? Have they contacted you or anything? Have they talked about maybe getting you guys involved with them? We – I have not heard anything from new breed wrestling. Okay. Uh, I do know some of the people who wrestle for them, like uh, yeah. Derek Teeter and and them. So Yeah, I know Iceman wrestles for them. I had an interview with him a few weeks ago. Iceman. Iceman's amazing. He is. He's a good guy. He's very, that's another talent. Uh, I know he's a little bit older, but, uh, and he's been there a few times, kind of as he's told me as a backup or whatever, enhanced talent guy. Uh, but, you know, seems like he knows, has a lot of knowledge as well. He, he does. Yeah. He does. So interesting. All right. So let's talk. Uh, one more thing. Uh, would you ever branch out of Arkansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, Texas, if those opportunities came along, if you were paid a decent amount of money, let's say. They say, hey, we want you to come to Florida. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Easy for me. I want to wrestle in all 50 states. Oh, okay. It's cool. kind of a goal of mine. So definitely I'm, I'm, I'm always looking for the opportunity to travel and learn more. Yeah. Well, Jason Jones, you know, you said he's, he's your mentor. He was your trainer. He's, he's kind of your guy. Now does uh, Jason's kind of, does he take care of you guys and say, okay, we're, we want you to go to such and such here in a month uh, and, and work with so-and-so for, a card is that ever is that kind of stuff is what goes on with you guys or how does that work jason jones is definitely he puts in he's putting in words for us before mm -hmm. of does as i said the man has wrestled for i believe 25 years now yeah he he knows almost everyone so if he feels like we're a good fit somewhere he he has put in a good word for us multiple okay. times and gave us those opportunities Okay. Have you ever worked in world class out of Oklahoma there, that Jerry uh, Bosick? Have you ever worked for him or no? 
Yes, sir. We actually worked a show for him. I think it was last month. Okay. Okay. Great guy. Uh, I talked to him back in probably October, I believe, last year. Uh, very smart, very knowledgeable, uh, understands the business, and, uh, and likes to promote talent and has a good way of promoting. I know Jason Jones, I think he commentates for him at times, if I remember right. But uh, I think he's a ring announcer. A ring announcer. Speaking of ring announcers, Ryan Pilkington. <laughs> hey, I, that guy, I like him. I did an interview with him a couple of weeks ago. He probably talked to you about it, I'm sure. Uh, you know, he just, he was a fan and all of a sudden he's a ring announcer. And, and uh, what do you think of him uh, as an announcer and, you know, his knowledge? I mean, is he, is he a good fit for you guys? Oh, I love Ryan. Yeah. Ryan, you know, he, he shows up to training every Tuesday. He's there, mm -hmm. you know, he's, he's taking bumps with the rest of us. Wow. And I think he's a, an amazing yeah. ring announcer. Yeah. He's a big dude too, from what I, I mean, he's height wise and stuff, I think, isn't he? I think he's like five ten, five eleven. Is he really? Stuff. I thought he was taller than that. Maybe I, I haven't been up next close to him very much, but it's in the ring, he looks spiky. Big. Yeah, that's true. That gives him a couple more inches, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, Johnny, is there anything? Oh, I mean, one more question. The Lit Fuse, where did that nickname come from? That came from Jason Jones. And that was just kind of a way to, you know, your last name is Dynamite. Huh. What, what, can, you, what can you put with the last name Dynamite? I know you can be the lit fuse. Show them when you get out there that you're a brawler. And it yeah. just kind of works with me. Wow. I mean, you seem talking to you right now. You, you, you're like night and day from the ring, which is cool. <laughs> I mean, you seem because in the ring and when you're, when you're doing your Johnny dynamite, you are very more aggressive, more, you know, like, like a ma maniac, but. You sound so calm and humble. It's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of hard for me to, you know. It throws people off. It, yeah, that's, it throws you off. Sure. If you don't know you on a personal level, I'm sure. What does your wife think of all this? Is she like, that's not you? Does she ever? <laughs> she she loves it until I start getting beat up. <laughs> yeah. Well. And then, and then I hear about it later on. Yeah. And how many children do you have? I have two. I have a little boy named David who'll be turning three okay. and a little girl named Joyce turning one. Oh, well, congratulations. And do those, does your family come to your matches when they can? When they can, they do. Yeah. They, they try to show up and yeah. Support. That's great. Does your little boy ever like cover his eyes and daddy's getting beat up or anything like that? This Saturday, Ross should be his first show going. Oh, you better, you better prepare him. <laughs> like it's okay buddy it's part of my job or something like that because i know it's, it's gonna be an he, interesting experience he, he'll he'll probably get scared and be crying out there and so but yeah well you know good for you i'm glad i'm glad to hear that it was so good talking to you uh you seem like a very nice humble young man and for how many the few years you've been in this business johnny dynamite you are on the rise. There's no doubt about it. And uh, keep up the great work. Thank you, sir. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank Mr. Johnny Dynamite for coming on tonight. Thank you so much, sir, for taking time out of your schedule. And uh, folks, if you're listening, thank you so much. And please subscribe, and we will talk to you soon.